Hi everybody. Welcome, thank you for coming. I'm hoping I'm not as scary in real life as I looked up there. That's quite frightening after a red eye from New York. The eyes bleary, bleary. Yes, Hammer, Hammer is a new. I think um, I thought I owned Hammer from the age of six. Uh, I got a shock in August to discover I didn't own it and it was in a lot of trouble. Um, and I was sent a copy of a film that had supposed to be a Hammer release, and Hammer had faded into the background. I got to watch the movie. I got to see the great Eddie Izzard delivering what you're going to see this evening. I went, okay, can we get this film on? Um, I want to get hold of Hammer. We might not be able to, but if we can get the two things to work together, then maybe we can pull it all together in a single thing. But we really didn't know. Um, we said to uh, Joe, okay, let's go for it. Joe said Halloween would be good. And we went, okay, that's like 10 days away. <laughs> uh, and can we pull this into one place? Uh, Joe was literally doing the first screening as um, we were sat in the crypt by the coffin of Hammer, pouring in the blood, seeing if we could get it to live, get it to live, and suddenly by the end of the screening, I was able to tell him, it's alive. <laughs> and from that moment on, we were able to say that Hammer would be back, that we would be releasing Dr. Jekyll, and that we should give it as big a send-off as we could to bring Hammer all the way back from the grave for this fantastic movie. Um, I've got two dedications I want to make. Firstly, to my other half, Sarah Townsend, who has been my muse throughout my career, and also Eddie's muse throughout his career, and Susie's muse. She has been a, an incredible inspiration, my first investor in my company. We've ended up being the largest live entertainment company in the world. It makes me laugh because we're bigger than Paramount Pictures and they've always tortured me, those Hollywood studios. So at last we've got it to a real scale. That's a major reason for putting my name all over the logo so that people know it's not going to change ownership. It's not going to go bankrupt. We're going to remake and make as much as we can. It was a thrilling moment for me when watching just what you saw because you saw a tiny section from the original Dracula that's never been seen on the big screen, ever. And I heard people go, ooh, that was that melting Dracula face. If it's seen new, it's because you've never, ever seen it. So all these bits and pieces of these movies were gonna pull together and try to get up there. My second dedication is to someone who was my great mentor, teacher, uh, and the father of the person who helped make all of this happen tonight. And that's Jerry Anderson. I have my blue suit on, my Thunderbirds rescue suit, because it certainly feels like a Thunderbirds rescue we've done in the last couple of months. And Jamie Anderson has fulfilled the teaching of his father in terms of how do we get something done? Let's start tomorrow, and gosh, we've only got a couple of weeks. We'll make it happen, and he made it happen. We really, really ran at this because of a great piece of directing. And I would like now to introduce you to the director of Dr. Jekyll, Joe Stevenson. Thank you. Hello. Thanks a lot. Um, I haven't particularly found anything particular to say. Um, the film is what I have to say, I guess. Um, I, but what I will say is very surreal is that, I mean, last time I was in this cinema, I watched uh, Oppenheimer, an um, uh, 80 million biopic. Um, and so to be stood here um, uh, with a film made for 80 times less, um, premiering in front of all you people, um, it's, it's an absolute honor and uh, very much a dream. Um, and obviously I have to thank John and I have to thank Jamie and everybody at Hammer for having so much faith in this piece of work that was really hard to make happen, like a lot of indie movies. Um, it was tough, um, people were disappearing, having to go off set because they had COVID, we had storms, we had everything. Um, 
everything you'd expect on an indie film. Um, so to be here and for this to be the result of uh, all that hard work for all my crew, um, my producers, Liam uh, in particular, Guy, um, and my cast who were all such great sports, um, Eddie and Scott uh, and everybody, Robin, Morgan. It's, it's been a really um, creating a small family and I'm really very proud of it, so I hope you all have a, a great time with it. You stay here, let's get the rest of your cast up yes, to the please. stage, please, those uh, that are here. Please come on now. Yes, Morgan Watkins, Robin Powell, Scott Campbell, Lindsay Um, well, it's it's wonderful to be here. This is just how we planned it, isn't it, Joe? This, yes. <laughs> from the very beginning, we planned to be here. You very groovy people, uh, seeing Hammer come back to life with uh, our film, with Joe's film, and with everyone who works in it. It's just, uh, I had a wonderful time. Scott, you have a wonderful time? Yeah, it was amazing. Take, take, <laughs> take the microphone. It's, it's, I was a street performer for four years. In my career. Um, Street performing just behind this wall. If you go back to Covent Garden, four years I was a street performer there, and, and on Friday, Saturday nights, we used to come down, we used to come into this very cinema. We used to sit out there and just look at the screen and go, God, I wish I could do films. I, I broke into Pinewood Studios when I was 15. I'm really, you know, was very keen to get into films. So to finally be here and doing a film like this is un fucking believable. And it's beautiful that you can see this, and I thank Joe, I thank Everyone, John, John Gore for uh, making him, Sarah Townsend, as John mentioned. Come on, come and join us here. Everyone who came along. It just, it was wonderful to be a part of this and to kill nearly half of the cast. Um, most people I had killed, uh, I didn't kill you yourself, so no, uh, Scott mm. me. So, um, uh, maybe Scott, it's all Scott's fault. So, Scott, you should say something. Um, yeah, just thank you, 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 is all I have to say because I'm incredibly grateful and you've always believed in me and I'm really happy to be here and yeah, Hammer Horror is incredible, I've been a horror fan since I was about seven, thanks to my brother and sister and um, yeah, I'm just very excited, so thank you. Um, indie film in the UK uh, has been really tricky over the last five to seven years. Um, when Joe came to me and uh, said he'd already got the money, um, most of the money, well, some of the money, um, it, it was a dream come true to know that uh, having to raise the money wasn't going to um, sit on my shoulders for a change. So actually, I had the best time on this film uh, because I wasn't absolutely uh, stressing over whether we could feed everybody for the following week. Um, it, was, it was great fun um, to spend time with, uh, with, with, with Eddie, um, was, was a joy, and I think that what these guys have achieved um, on this budget is extraordinary, and I, I hope you really enjoy it. Right, Let's, is it time to keep on calling with Dr. Jeffrey? I think so. Okay, we'll see you now.